This is the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie, K1GZL, is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40-meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I have a, a 15 to 25 over 9 copy on my 7300 direct. Direct, you're doing a terrific job. Uh, clear as a bell like you're right here um, in the room. Are you copying me uh, okay over there? Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir, Charlie. 30 over on Milford, Roger. Uh, yes, sir, Charlie. 30 over on Milford, Roger. Okay, well, thank you. Um, my output uh, getting to the antenna is not much more than 70 watts. 70 watts. Uh, I got a lot of an awful lot of cable uh, going over to uh, the antenna. I had a tremendous contact with Captain Mike uh, KX4 Whiskey Charlie uh, today. The uh, course the 27th of uh, January 2023, and uh, I picked him up over Western Nebraska. His ground speed at times was up close to 600 miles per hour, heading from Sacramento, California, to uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And uh, uh, it's amazing with an eight foot uh, uh, antenna on the uh, upward uh, part of the tail, uh, what uh, he actually can do uh, with uh, that. And yet on the ground, I did talk to him briefly on 40 meters now we were on 20 but we switched to uh, 40 because uh, he was closer in and uh, on 40 he was hitting 30 over 9 right from the tarmac right on the ground uh, but anyway here is Captain Mike I first got him uh, in uh, western Nebraska I think he had just crossed over from Wyoming here he is we uh, K1 G's at LKX for Whiskey Charlie. We're right now in uh, South Central Nebraska at uh, 370, uh, showing 1130 miles from uh, Philadelphia. ECA again, Charlie, at uh, uh, 130 uh, Eastern Time. And the uh, temperature up here right now is minus 51 Celsius. Uh, K1 G's at LKX for Whiskey Charlie. 65 below Fahrenheit. You're 59 plus, over. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay here. Okay. Uh, KX4 with Darling uh, is over um, Kirksville, Kirksville, uh, Missouri. Just coming up close to, uh, about to come over the uh, Mississippi River here. We're about, uh, let's see, it looks like about, uh, oh, about 90 miles north of St. Louis at uh, 37,000. Uh, 760 miles to go, Charlie, and uh, you're 59 plus. Uh, back to you. Sure, but uh, let me see if uh, if it's Craig is hearing uh, is hearing me and Charlie. Uh, uh, WA3ZDI. Uh, any copy on us there, uh, Craig? Go ahead. It's for whiskey, Charlie. Uh, we're 30 miles from where Charlie used to live back in uh, what was that, 1943, uh, Springfield, Illinois. We're uh, uh, rapidly approaching Springfield at uh, 515 knots, Charlie, so we're moving along at uh, 37,000 uh, towards uh, Philadelphia with about uh, 700 miles to go. Uh, you're 59 plus, Charlie. K1G's at Allen, KX4, Whiskey, Charlie. Oh, 30 miles uh, east of Spring Springfield, but uh, yeah, you definitely uh, are, are, are getting up there on the signal there. Won't be too long. Uh, we're got a nice uh, 75 knot tailwind, so we're doing almost uh, 540 knots across the ground, so it won't be too much longer. But uh, nice, to hear, nice hearing you in there, Tom. Uh, K1G's at L, KX4, with Charlie with uh, Craig signing out. We are around there, right around 1230 in that, uh, in that general area. Uh, but uh, that's the time where uh, Mike wanted to uh, try to uh, initiate the, uh, the contact as we'll approach uh, uh, we're getting quite rapidly there from uh, that uh, part of uh, Ohio, but uh, that's where we'll be uh, right around 1230. We'll be just south of Toledo. Go ahead. Delphia facing northwest, Charlie. You're about a 5757. 
40 meters up and sideband. K1 G's at L, KX4, Whiskey Charlie. KD2, KD2. Okay, uh, yeah, K1 G's at L, KX4, Whiskey Charlie on the ground, Philadelphia. 40 meters up or sideband. Charlie, you're about a 5555 on the ramp in Philadelphia. K1 G's at L, KX4, Whiskey Charlie. Okay, Jim, I know that was longer than it should be, but I'm wondering if you could uh, copy. It's remarkable, remarkable what uh, what they can do uh, with that uh, amount of lower power and small antenna, but even on the ground right there. And, and I don't even favor that area with my uh, quad here. Uh, I really don't. Uh, he's uh, considerably off the side uh, on the southeast side. Uh, yeah, v, uh, KC9, VKV, K1, GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, well, I'm still thinking, even on the ground now, he has a height advantage because uh, that uh, that tail section uh, where that antenna is is uh, uh, probably uh, 50 or 60 feet above the ground, Roger, Roger? Probably uh, 50 or 60 feet above the ground, Roger, Roger. Uh, yes, that is correct. That is uh, correct. Uh, uh, however, I think what might be happening also is the fact that uh, since the uh, the plane is metal, uh, made out of uh, metal, it acts like a ground plane uh, with uh, some of the RF, even though it's just an 8-foot antenna, uh, bouncing off the top of the plane and coming up my way because he was, uh, I believe, uh, pointed north. Uh, and I'm uh, north-east uh, uh, of where uh, he was. Uh, but uh, even so, I've seen him uh, the other direction, uh, pointed south, and I'm off the back of the plane. He's not quite as strong, but he still can be as much as 20 over 9 off the back of the plane on the ground. However, uh, the other day he was going from uh, east to west, east to west and peaking almost 30 over 9 uh, as he was traveling on a northern uh, extension of his route. He was over South Dakota, South Dakota and going 20, 25, almost 30 over 9 off the back of his uh, plane. Uh, but it just shows that when you get good propagation, uh, you can get a away with, uh, with anything. But when the band gets lousy, it's horrible. Go ahead. Oh, that's true. That's true. You don't go anywhere without good propagation. You know, and I was also thinking about his antenna system now. That uh, antenna is running up the uh, tail section uh, vertical stabilizer in the front of it at just a little bit of an angle. But, uh, you know, it could be that the, the rest of the plane is the uh, is the ground radials, and so he has almost a perfect uh, uh, vertical radiator, Roger. Almost a perfect uh, uh, vertical radiator, Roger. Uh, yes, to, to a degree, I think you're correct. I think you are correct uh, on that, uh, on that, uh, Jim. Uh, but it's uh, it, it's it's unbelievable uh, what uh, what can uh, what can be done, uh, what uh, can be done uh, given the right propagation, right conditions, and uh, the band conditions also cooperating. And your signal is absolutely marvelous. There it is. I hope. Uh, you know, it could be better than the rest of the thing. What? So he has almost a perfect uh, uh, vertical radiator, Roger. Okay, I had a couple seconds of, <laughs> of a problem in the beginning of that, but I hope you copied. Well, it, uh, it, uh, it's a load of fun. It really is. Uh, okay, I, my next schedule with him is tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. as on 20 meters, uh, around 14 to 22, as he goes from west, I mean east to west, as he goes back out to Sacramento. And then next Wednesday he goes uh, uh, from Sacramento back uh, <coughs> uh, back to Philadelphia. Okay, Jim, I won't hold it any longer. There are many stations probably would like to get a report uh, from you, but I'm glad you could copy the low power that I'm running here, uh, uh, the low power that I'm running here out uh, to your uh, direction. I would imagine you may be copying me okay direct, uh, direct out there, 
the, the way I'm copying, you, you're doing a beautiful job, a uh, tremendous copy, uh, direct, as I have no SDR uh, capability. KZ9VKV, always a pleasure, Jim. K1GZL, and thank you for letting me uh, come aboard. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73 up that way, sir, and uh, you can, uh, you know, have a great day and a beautiful afternoon and a great weekend, uh, uh, and um, hopefully uh, everything will be copacetic, and uh, um, you'll uh, join us next uh, Friday, if uh, all possible. 73, sir. And uh, this is the uh, Friday afternoon Kiss of Elock Net. My name is Jim, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that'll take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page, where we're currently featuring over 2,400 QSO Vlog air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series, and I'll have it uh, posted by noon tomorrow. And also, we have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. And so, without further ado, let's uh, open up the thing, and uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. 